3v3 Deathworld Temple blue team. First up in Larging Cloud is a Lick to Alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt. Has some really great offense too. Alongside Omniscient Velociraptor is an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default. Begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. And rounding out the blue team is Beowulf with a Tech Marine. Starts out range combat. Good DPS. Also some nice utility with structures and the ability to repair. Red team. Rags No Ching Conquer is a Commando Knob. Infiltrating commander that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orky style begins with a stun bomb. Alongside Erasmus Tycho is another Tech Marine. And rounding out the red team is Osinski as a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed. Fights in melee combat. Very good offense and disruption. Gonna take this eastern victory point or at least try to. Have another victory point in the mid and another victory point on the west side. None of them particularly natural. Tactical Marines versus Tactical Marines. The Apothecary has his tax in heavy cover though with that health regen. Hence Erasmus backing off. West side is kicking off his Orcs versus Tyranids. Two infiltrating commanders there. No detectors on the field at this stage. Lictor chasing down those shooters. Tying them up and doing damage. There's a flesh hook. Kills the slugger. Here come double Hormagons, Termigants in behind. And they might just give up the chase to start capping there. Rags backing off. Here comes the Apothecary to flank. And he needs to retreat out. Did not lose a single model though. Oh, he did lose the Slugger to the Flesh Hooks, of course. The starting ability of the Lictor Alpha on the east side. It's Chaos Lord versus Tech Marine, is it? It is. Chaos Lord so good in the first engagements versus Space Marines can worship him in to tie up Tactical Marines and all of a sudden the DPS potential of the starting Space Marine army is drastically reduced. He's going off the scouts here though. There's Kill the Weak which misses. Tech Marine under pressure by a double Heretics there. Osinski going for triple Heretics with the Chaos Space Marine squad in there as well. 447481 is a 2 to 1 cap. For the red team, there's some good pressure there from Asinski. Needs to back away. Tactical Marines will turn and engage with their bolters. Heavy infantry, very durable and versatile. More than decent DPS as well with their bolters. Here are those Chaos Space Marines. Central victory point turning blue thanks to these scouts. Apothecary already has his mastercrafted bolter. Allows it to sit back and support, throw out heals without putting himself at risk as much as usual. I bet him. I bet he's glad that the Lictorav is on his team because Lictorav can really screw over an Apothecary in 3v3s with the Flesh Hook dragging him into potentially three armies. 439, 481, 1 to 1 cap. And double Tactical Marines from Erasmus, who's a bit static here in mid. Devastators on the field for Beowulf. We're right outside his base at the moment, locked in by Osinski's constant pressure, decapping this really natural wreck point. 434481. Erasmus is finally starting to move here. He might try and flank around. But Tyranids are waiting. You have a warrior brood on the field fighting large in cloud. Heavy infantry that leap into melee combat. Also providing a synapse to all these Hormagaunts and Termigants. You see that green stuff around their heads. Damage reduction and some suppression resistance from that basic synapse. Here comes Beowulf. Devastators, shotgun scouts. And tactical marines. Do we have the mastercrafted bolter? We do. With high powered shot, which is awesome. Doesn't give him a huge amount of DPS over his default bolter. But that high powered shot is awesome. 388481 is kicking off in the mid. Assault marines jumping in to that entire blob of Erasmus. That was very sloppy. And he just retreats out. Rax is now all alone. 376481. Storm boys in there. Chased off though by that big melee blob. That is nasty. Is he going to support this with pheromones? Not right now. He has toxin miasma or miasma. Pretty cool weapon. I think it does damage over time, but I might be wrong. I've always thought that for some reason, but it's not in the tooltip. Does reduce speed and damage by a whopping 25%, as you can see there. 344481. Can they put some pressure on this node again? Prevent generators from being built. We do have triple gens here for red. This is a Sinski with double grenade launcher heretics and havocs now. 
Really nice, interesting kill from him early on. Has some aspiring champion heretics too. There's some corn worship using that speed boost to get those cursed space marines in melee. Or they wanted to in a way. Devastators run the hill away. 3-3-3, three, 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 4 7 9 It's a double cap now for blue though. And might be a quick triple there. are capping west. But the commander knob is decapping mid. And there's a single now. It's going to be a 2 to 1. Red team now doubling the east side. Erasmus supporting Osinski with those double tactical marines. Quite a nice opening for space marines, I think, if you're not faced with a setup team which can screw you over. Can transition nicely into Stern Guard and a specialized weapon. There's a grenade on those heretics. Using corn worship to get out of the way. That was beautiful play by Osinski. Saving at least a couple of heretics there from that grenade. Losing that scout squad was Beowulf there, just as Devastators and Tactical Marines, and that is the advanced target in Vengeance rounds you see there. 3 3 3 4 5 1. He's getting doubled hard and needs to back off before he loses too much. Some power harass now. Are we going to see a Flamer up? No. Just going to transition into tier 2. Maybe Stone Guard. He is up against double Space Marines, so he might not see Stone Guard. You'll have to get close with Vengeance Rounds to put pressure on heavy armor, but it'll be very nice versus Tyranids with all those Hellfire Rounds going in. Kraken Bolts of the Stern Guard are set to get a change in the next update to make them a bit more useful, by the way. Quite enough went down there, as you can see, from the big Tyranid Blob of Doom. Still no Pheromones to support, though. 331-440, Red Team completely decapping and now capping this power. Havocs are there from Asinski with that instant suppression from the Heavy Bolter. Master Crafted Bolter there cannot suppress the Chaos Lord, of course, who gets in amongst stuff. Where's that kill the weak? Here come Aspiring Champion Heretics as well. And Beowulf is having a torrid time on this east side, getting doubled over and over. But he's just staying in those engagements too long, I think. 3 3 1, 4 2 3. Blue team are flanking around as a grenade. Almost wiping Erasmus' tactical marines and a flesh hook takes off the last hit point. Nicely done by Enlarging Cloud, who's now going for a Gene Stealer Brood. This is gonna be nasty. Double Hormagaunts, Warrior Brood, and Gene Stealers. I assume we're gonna see melee synapse adrenal glands from this Warrior Brood. And maybe even Endless Swarm Hormagaunts, and that's gonna be very, very nasty. Erasmus now with just a single tactical marine squad and scouts. No upgrades, nothing. With a pain boy on the field for Rags. Tier 1 support sub commander for Orcs. Has a heal over time ability. Shooters with their knob leader capping mid. His other shooters also with a knob leader making them protectors and increasing their DPS and durability. 331388. Blue team blobbed up on this east side to push together, perhaps. We'll see. Flamer Tactical Marines up for Omniscient. Submarines jumping off of that ledge, I think. 3 3 1, 3 7 8. All of the players swarming all over the map here. Asinski's all the way in the mid, close to the west. And a dreadnought on the way for Erasmus. Can he turn the tide with this thing? Perhaps he should keep it as a melee walker to combat this swarm of Tyranids. 3 3 1, 3 6 7. Assault squad almost level 2 for Im Omniscient. Have their sergeant as well. No sign of a specialised weapon for these tactical marines. He has no power pretty much after purchasing that dreadnought is why. Osinski now trying to retake east side with his curse lord and should be able to. And this is armour of the inferno. 331, 354 on the way. Just 30 power now of course. Was toned down a little bit. Gene Stiller Brood coming in, elite dedicated melee squad with power melee and adrenal rush which heals them for each hit and boosts their damage and speed. It's a pretty nasty ability, especially alongside adrenal gland warriors with that plus 10 melee skill that brings the Gene Stillers up to 90 melee skill, which I'm pretty sure is still the highest in the game. They can really take on a knob squad when they're under that melee synapse because they get so many special attacks in. 307354 Chaos Lord chasing down 
tactical marines. Indeed, chasing down assault marines. Havoc's in this garrison. We do have thunder and lightning, so they can throw blind grenades if they had the energy to do so. There's a fragmentation grenade. Boom, and a tactical marine with flamer as well. This Havoc squad is done for, burned out of that garrison. Should now just take the garrison himself against that Chaos Lord, perhaps. There is full auto, unable to knock down the Chaos Lord, of course, but did a lot of damage and is retreating. Also have combat stims and improved medical equipment for the Apothecary. So we can now support with a damage buff as well. That was Orbs of the Omnissiah from Beowulf. Hard, stunning this Dreadnought. And look at this. A missile launcher turret on this mid-eastern area. Actually a really powerful anti-vehicle platform, much like the Plague Champions Laz Cannon turret. They are really, really strong now in Elite Mod. If you get them on the field, 286-351. Osinski has nothing in Tier 2 yet. And as I say that, he goes for some blood letters. Tier 3 for Enlarging Cloud, that could be telling. And he's floating tons of requisition. Dreadnoughts in amongst Marines. Killing a couple of them with that inspiration on kill. Boosting the damage of Asinski's Kill Space Marines, which are close by. These guys with no upgrades yet. No Eternal War, no Aspiring Champion. There is Orbs again. Hard stunning that Dreadnought, but look at that. Let the galaxy burn. Wow, killed three Marines. Who said it's not effective versus heavy armor that was crazy 286 327 tactical marines getting away with their missile launcher on beowulf devastators supporting this missile turret with some suppression and dreadnought now getting repairs what's going on mid is kicking off tyranids and orcs some aspiring chip heretics in there as well the pain boy still around does not have his stronger git source though which does improve him quite a bit here it comes only 20 power, makes his heal over time better, gives him more energy and health also. 286, 311. Of course in tier 2 he automatically gets his unstable fuel injection, which could help greatly versus that Tyranid Swarm of Melee. Enlarging Cloud now going for a tier 3 Lictor. Has the deadly jump. Stormboy is jumping on that turret and look how quickly they take it down with that Knob Leader's heavy melee, that was crazy. Tech Marine could not save it. Level 2, fully kitted out now, has Artificer. 278, 311. Should have gone for Signum, I think. So many detectors around now, the mines aren't really going to come into play, I don't think, from Artificer. It does give him that nice plus 200 health, though. 269, 311. Then the Galaxy Burn again, nicely hitting those tactical Marines. And Bloodlet is teleporting in. Such a powerful power melee squad benefit greatly from worship as you can see here get health and energy regen since they are demons and lightning claw chaos lord with icon of Corn. he's level two so he's going to be very very painful for those tactical marines 255 311 a dreadnought now on the field for beowulf we do have an assault cannon up for erasmus's dreadnought it might get a big engagement here there's and they no fear there's the barrage absolutely disintegrate the tactical marines look at the amount of death that was insane. Needs to run the hell away. What an awesome barrage there. And it's all kicking off in mid. Orcs versus Tyranids. Bomber boys flying in. Tactical Marines of Flame are burning the crap out of those shooters. And a Dreadnought coming in. Orcs getting absolutely thrashed at the end there. Very nice Dreadnought play from Beowulf. Just sneaking into those shooters there. Rags not paying attention. 197, 311 as a triple cap for red. Spang Champion Heretics in amongst the Salt Marines, but these guys are level 2 with their Sergeant. And those Heretics are getting roasted by that Flamer as well. Can they get away? Two models should be able to. Dreadnought blasting away with that Assault Cannon. These guys jumping again so they can't use their Melt Bomb, have no energy to do so. 163, 311, here comes the Dreadnought of Beowulf who has very little else, has Stone Guard and Devastators now, 156, 311. There's full auto on the Chaos Lord again. Chasing down Assault Marines with that 100 DPS Power Melee Lightning Claws. Really awesome damage, the Dreadnought he can't really deal with though. 
and needs to run away and does get away. 152305, what's going on here? Some Pormagons decapping this wreck point, which is annoying. Here comes a bunch of orcs, enlarging cloud, not paying attention, and it's going to lose the squad. There's a Doom of Malantite on the way, Hormagons wipe is Lictar and in fact everything else back at base Plague Marines on the way from Masinski as you can see from the chat 152292 some blob cap in here from Beowulf he realizes his error and leaves the Stern Guard to do so they have their vengeance rounds loaded in you can tell by that strange looking icon above their indicator I'm not sh exactly sure what that's meant to be but it means they have vengeance rounds 152269 triple cap for blue and here is the Doom of Malantite, kind of a sub commander super unit for Tyranids, limited to one, cannot level up, but has awesome area of effect damage over time abilities. Needs to use abilities itself though to regain energy, it does not naturally regenerate its energy. 152241 Hellfire rounds against those blood letters, which are infantry, so Hellfire rounds are the things to use. Kerstall in there, some really nice blood letter play I think, we have some capillary towers up here, 152, 238, it's all kicking off, huge engagement in mid, that dreadnought's assault cannon, such awesome single target DPS, also helps you suppress, it does do some courage damage, Kerstall went down, can be revived immediately I think by this tech marine, if you can get through all of these heretics, no he's leaving, got to revive the Chaos Lord. I know it's heresy, but you got to do it. 150, 238, it's a 2 to 1 cap for red. Big warp vomit from that weird boy. That is such an awesome stun, and he runs away. 145, 238. Warriors wiped out. Crazy engagement. Gene still is in trouble, trying to use Adrenal Rush, but they're going to wipe it. Yes, there is paroxysm from the Doom of Manatai. Where the hell is that thing? It's right there, in fact. Terrible engagement for Enlarging Cloud. Loses his commander. Lost almost his entire army. Lost all of his former gods. Lost his warriors. Lost his gene stealers. Wow. Stormboy is ripping things to shreds there. Level 2. What's going on here? Red team hitting power. This dreadnought's going to go down, I think. Being chased down by vengeance rounds. And that missile launch of Plague Marine squad. There we go. So they defend their power reasonably well. And they need to retake it now. Double Plague Marines for Asinski. Really difficult to deal with. Really durable unit. 2,000 hit points of infantry armor. They are not heavy infantry. And some awesome health regen. Tarantula turret here. The Dreadnought's just going to walk up through it and smack it though, I think. Land Raider Redeemer on the way for Omniscient. But Beowulf is struggling. Just Stern God veterans and Devastators now. His Tech Marine even is down. Tier 3 for Rosinski. Tier 3 for Rags. Carnifex on the way for Enlarging Cloud. It's it's nicely poised, but Red Team have quite a large VP lead, and it's their game to lose, I think you've got to say. 91, 238, Blood Letters chasing down the Salt Marines. There is that awesome warp from it again. Didn't quite hit the Tactical Marine Blob, though. The Tier 3 licked it in there with its heavy melee damage. This thing really is awesome. Some crazy damage output that thing has also starts with flesh hooks and a leap and can infiltrate and doesn't drain energy when it infiltrates as well. Stormboy is jumping in, getting a heal there from the Pain Boy. 89, 234. Wonder if the Pain Boy has used his surgery thing. Scouts level 2 with their shotguns and sergeant and they shall not fear. Stone Guard upgrade into what? Vengeance rounds. They should have stuck with the Hellfire. Plague Marines are actually light. Oh, sorry, infantry. They don't have heavy armor, so Hellfire would have got the damage over time on them. 89, triple two. Dreadnought just hanging back on this east side. Red team have it. And there's the two to one still. 85, triple two. Carnifex with the Barb Strangler on the west side. Really awesome artillery weapon that also suppresses not the hugest amount of range, but if it hits, it's painful. There you go, they only hit one model and look at the damage it did. 75 triple two 
Kill Space Range running the heck out of there. Land Raider Redeemer is up. This is Omniscience. Basically a mobile base with two Flamestorm Cannons, Assault Cannon and a Multi Melter. So awesome close range DPS. But you do need to support that thing. It's not the kind of super unit you want to lead the lines with. Predator tank on the field for Erasmus. Lasinski still rocking double plague marines and those blood letters. And he's all the way over on the west now. Enlarging Cloud recognizing that they're doubling bottom, asking for help, I think. 75 191. Here comes that land raider, which is all alone, unless things are inside it. I think they are. You can transport units inside the land raider. You can also have it act as a retreat point for your army, and in fact, your allies army look at this enlarging cloud putting towers inside that little forest there naughty naughty enlarging cloud there's the grenade barrage frag assault i believe it's called 75 172 there's rocks on the land radar storm boy is jumping in and that rocks is going to do insane amounts of damage to the land radar took almost half of his hit points Plague Marines also getting shots in, but here comes a Carnifex and a Lictor Alpha and a Tier 3 Lictor as well. 75, 160. The Land Raider survives. All that stuff. Lucky that it could get inside it there. East is still red. Blue have mid and west though, and they have a two-ton cap. Red team need to get back into this. Need to run away, I think, and they wipe out Terminators are on the field though for Beowulf. But he's in danger of losing those. That twinning last cannon on the Predator able to have full accuracy versus those Terminators since they are large units. Very similar colour schemes for the two Space Marine players. 75-137. Cal Space Marines on the field for Asinski still with no upgrades whatsoever. Level 2 is done well though. Lightning Claw. Chaos Lord chasing down his Terminators who cannot retreat. They do have a personal teleport which they must have used because they're not using it now as a cooldown of course. Dreadnought with Assault Cannon now level 3 for Erasmus has done well. That Land Raider went down incidentally. 75-121 not sure what did it. There's an Orbital Bombardment. I assume that is from Erasmus. Catches the Apothecary and some Tactical Marines. Also catches some allies, unfortunately. These are the level 3 Storm Boys. Doesn't want to lose them. Boom. 75, 109. Another Orbital. This must be Omniscience. Down goes that Predator from a Barb Strangler shot. That thing does hurt vehicles if you can hit them. Suppressing those Plague Marines with it. But Plague Marines do not care much about suppression. It will slow them down, but they still fire at the normal rate. Tied up though by two lictors, and here comes another Barb Strangler Carnifex. 75 109. Full retreat here. Dreadnought backing off. Blue team doing very well. Stormboy is now jumping in, stunning that lictor. Erasmus floating tons of requisition. Painboy saving those Stormboys with that heal there. Painboy is almost level 3. Trying to take on a tier 3 lictor and a couple of Carnifexes. Brave little fella. Run away. There we go. That assault kind of not doing a whole lot versus those kind of fixes of vehicle armor. Level 2 this one. The other one still level 1. And a librarian on the field quite late for Omniscient. And those Terminators survived and have capped mid. Devastators covering the central victory point just about. West side turning red thanks to Sluggers. Fully upgraded with Burners and Nobida and level 2. So a pretty decent little melee squad there with some support. Looks like... Omniscient is going to take it right back. Double Carnifex need to be careful. Down goes that one. That rocket launcher up on the Commander Nob. There is Toronto Formation. Boom. Has a much shorter delay in Elite Mod. And look at the chaos it reaps there. Absolute havoc and he needed to, support to retreat his entire army. Stone Guard losing a model. Oh, kicking off mid, there's an abyss. 69-88. Predator survives. Terminator is losing models. These guys inspiring allies on each kill that they make. Getting thrown around by that abyss. Here's an orbital again. 
Blade Marines retreating, but these guys did get caught. 69, 71, it will lift you up in the air even if you're retreating. Orbital to Bombardiers, do not care, boom, there it is. But Plague Marines are tough, do not lose a model. Not even close. And retreat out of there. Down goes the Predator tank. Was that his own Predator tank? I think it was. 69, 61. It's a single cap for blue. They're holding on. There's the one-to-one -one, though. And the barrage stopping the cap just in time. That's good play from Erasmus. Was that a flesh hook on a dreadnought there? What the heck was that? 69, 60. Terminator is trying to cap mid down to one model. Needs to put up a relay beacon here or something. Commander Nob, level 5, getting swarmed by a bunch of staff. 24 hit points, 21, 17, 12, 7, 2, 1, 0. Down he goes. Didn't break these towers from the interstate, from the front of formation, I should say. 69, 52. What was that? That was a melter bomb from the assault squad. And the lictors are going to take down this dreadnought now, I think. Dreadnought still does 73 DPS or so with his assault cannon but doesn't have splash damage and goes down to that awesome tier 3 lictor. What level is this guy? Level 3 and a swarm lord on the way now. This doom of Malentite, this is a new one? I'm not sure. 69.43, it's a 2 ton cap for red. Commandos on the field for rags. Good late game choice. These guys capping 50% faster than normal, much like tactical marines and stern god veterans do. 62, 43. Here comes sluggers getting a pain boy door there. Terminators in amongst with their power fist. They also have a heavy flamer. This is Omniscience squad. Full auto on the pain boy. Good play by Omniscience to use that such late in the game. Have the wherewithal to use that on the pain boy at that point. 49, 43. Here comes Carnifex and the Doom of Malentite. Melter Gun Tech Marine now, level 6, also has Refractor Field. This is Erasmus. Salt Marine jumping in. Spawn Mines. Spawned by that Barb Trangle of Carnifex, but they're not moving or doing anything. 49.37. Blue Team will retain that west side. Are oh, they going to retain the mid? It's all kicking off. Here is a land rid of Phobos using the Dirge Caster with stuns and debuffs units. The stun doesn't last that long though, but it's still debuffing those terminators. Now it's worn off and needs to back away. Power fists will hurt it. What the damage it's doing with those last cannons. 49, 25 and we do have a relay beacon mid and a turret from Beowulf, which could prove telling. Here come commandos. Then Nob Leader gets a nifty rocket launcher. There is Love the Daka, but here comes a swarm lord and he needs to back the hell off. There's GG, 49, 15. Blue team are going to take this. I thought red team had it. Good comeback by blue team. Erasmus with triple tactical marine. Quadruple tactical marines at the end of the game. And stern guard. It's basically bringing a whole company of marines with him. That's crazy. 49-5. There is cleansing frame from the terminators. 3-2-1. And this is going to be blue team's game. Taking it at the end there. Absolutely crazy stuff all over the map. Some really nice play and some not so nice play at some points but everyone was everywhere really dynamic play from all the players in Larging Cloud losing almost his entire army in tier 2 but recovered with the doom that tier 3 licked to the Carnifexes and the Swarm Lord right at the end Beowulf seemed to be under pressure a lot but held on some good turrets here and there this one didn't last very long that was over here but did put a couple up in mid at the end Relay Beacon as well. I think he could have done with one of these a bit earlier in mid. This is a crazy ending by Erasmus. Chaos Thor, level 4, level 5, Commando, level 6, level 6, Lick to Alpha. He had Menacing Passage, not sure if he used it. Level 7, Apothecary, level 5, Tech Marine. And there we go. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm sure I missed tons of stuff, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.